Is there anything that you did in the army that you want to apologize now? None that I know of. None that you know of? Yes. As commander of the battalion that massacred people at the Item, Uweri, Oboe Sohe Asaba, now, would he, that commander, apologize? My division which I commanded was not a battalion. There were battalions and brigades. If they engage in massacre, yes. in accordance to what you say, yes. I would have court marshaled them. If you did not, and people are now saying, for what you have done, mother of people in open day at Item, mother of people 9.15 a.m. In a, in, a, in a market, 700 dead. Mother of defenseless people who have come to welcome the Nigerian troops, 500 that seven. Would you expect that person now, like Kawan, to say, I am sorry? I, as a combatant commander of the troops, as a witness in this box, as a witness in this box, testifying for and on behalf of the soldiers who fought the civil war. They fought it in the principle of preserving the Nigerian Federation. I have no apologies for maintaining the Federation of Nigeria. That was my task. If my commander-in-chief, who was in command, gave me command, which I carried out with troops, if he now feels to apologize, and he has apologized, it is in his own wisdom to do so. But insofar as I commanded troops and obeyed orders within the competence of my profession, I have no apologies. In I have no apologies in your religion. I am here together as citizens of Nigeria. It's important to note that the Asaba massacre came merely weeks after the counter-offensive of the Midwest by the Federal Army, precisely the Nigerian 2nd Division, spearheaded by Mugitala Mohammed and his lieutenants, notably Colonel Ibrahim Haruna and Taiwo Ibrahim. The counter-offensive came to a halt few days to the end of September 1967, as the Nigerian Army moved towards Asaba. The Nigerian army arrived at Asaba during the first week of October 1967 and it is reported that based on the humiliation they received from the offensive in the Midwest by the Biafran army and treat others from above to retake and occupy the city of Asaba at all costs. The federal troops started ransacking homes and killing defenseless and helpless human beings. Evidence shows that over 1,000 people were killed just within a few days. During the early hours of the 7th of October 1967, in a bid to end the violence, the remaining chief of Asaba yet to be killed summoned everybody to surrender at the village square at Ogwe Osawa village. But to no avail, the Nigerian army killed hundreds and thousands of defenseless people that day. The order was given by Ibrahim Taiwo, but evidence shows that high-ranking officer above him was in consent, including Muritala Mohammed. Yakub Bugowon and Ibrahim Hagona. Like I said in the beginning of the video, history is always written by the victors. And in a war termed no victor, no vanquish, more than 2,000 people died in Asaba within the space of a week. And more atrocities worse than that was about to happen. It is important to note that for us to know the future, we must understand the past. Because I feel in recent time, history has been adulterated and most history are not even passed and appropriately. 
I leave you with this food for thought. In a normal world, Muritala Mohammed isn't supposed to be regarded as a hero, simply because of the war crime he committed during the war. In a normal world, he's supposed to have been caught martialed and sent to prison. Same as Bari, he isn't supposed to even be the current head of state simply because of the atrocities he committed during the war. Well, what do I know? I'm just a Gen Z that loves history. Despite the fact that history is always written by the victors, it is of utmost important that the losers should be obligated to tell their own story and pass their own story down so that the truth will be undiluted. So, guys, I'm all out and I thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. Please and please and please like, share, like, share, like, share, like, share and subscribe to this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you guys. See you in the next video.